A creative genius. An IT genius. A math genius. Today, we call a whole lot of people geniuses. However, this is the more modern, mundane approach to the word. Genius has lived for a millennia, always shifting, and it used to mean something bigger, more magical. In Arab folklore, it was called jinn, which then became genie. But this genie wasn't blue and voiced by Robin Williams. It was a supernatural creature made of a smokeless, scorching fire. When the mood took it, genie could bond to humans, whispering suggestions to them, inspiring them. The ancient Greeks saw genius as a cosmic energy force. They called it demon and believed it served humans by transporting celestial ideas to them. The Romans gave genius its current name. To them, it was a ghost stalking us, a divine spirit that followed each person from their birth to the hour of their death. Sounds creepy. However, this is how they believed people received creativity and intellect. It sounds strange now. However, this was the general consensus on how we accessed creativity for a very long time. No one was a genius. Genius was a disembodied thing in control of our inspiration. Who knows? Maybe they were right. It was in the Renaissance that things changed. Humans were placed at the center of everything, above all gods and mysteries, and with that, genius was sent back into its bottle. Individuals became geniuses, and the idea of benevolent spirits imparting wisdom was consigned to the past. This view of genius has stayed ever since. However, in recent years, people have started to challenge the healthiness of this belief, this feeling that people are born geniuses. Maybe Steve Jobs did leave the womb with the idea for Apple already taking shape in his head. Perhaps Lennon and McCartney were harmonizing across their cribs. Or it's possible they just worked really damn hard and their talent was molded over decades. Writer Elizabeth Gilbert in her book, Big Magic, explains how this idea of people being geniuses completely warps and distorts egos. I'm a genius, I don't need to work hard. Bestowing the title of genius on someone also puts immense pressure on their shoulders. Every new work must top what they've done before. It can be paralyzing creatively. So, wouldn't it be better to return to a time where we all had access to genius? We just have to be willing to persist, work, fight, and work some more to create those things that are whispered to us as we sleep or bring about the changes in society we believe in. Genius should not be for the few. Everyone has the right to be inspired.